Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at another limit with an indeterminate form, but this one is a lot more work. And as it turns out, there's actually two ways to do this one. We're gonna go through the first way by expanding or multiplying here, and the second way, which I'll have linked over to the side, you can actually factor this, but we'll save that for the second part. All right, now let's check that we have an indeterminate form. If you plug in h as zero, you're gonna get two plus zero, so two cubed, eight minus eight, that's zero. And then your denominator, that's zero. So we have an indeterminate form here. All right, now the work for this problem would be multiplying or expanding two plus h cubed. So let's go ahead and do that. Now first, there's a huge mistake that is made all the time by even the best calculus students. Unfortunately, this is not two cubed plus h cubed. So just be careful, we're gonna have to multiply this out, foil two terms, and then multiply the rest of it out. It's gonna take a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is pretty much the work for the question right here. So we're gonna write that out as three factors of two plus h. And you can foil or expand, multiply the first two pairs. Let's say that's gonna give you four plus two h plus two h, so four h. And then plus h squared and that's multiplying two plus h. And now we're gonna take every term in the first set of parentheses and let it multiply every term in the second set of parentheses. So let's multiply the four first. We're gonna get four times two, eight, four times h, four h. Now we go to four h, that's gonna multiply two to give eight h. Multiply four h to h, four h squared. And now we multiply h squared to both these terms in the parentheses. So we'll get 2h squared and then plus h cubed. All right, I'm taking my time like I would in class. If you take your time, you'll be able to get through this as well. All right, now let's kind of see if we have any like terms here. We have just that single h cubed by itself. All right, we're gonna look for h squared terms we have two there, four h squared and two h squared. You can add them as six h squared. We have h terms, four h and eight h, that'll combine to 12 h. And we're left with just the constant term, that with no h on it, which is just eight. And again, that is most of the work for this question. Now, we just expanded the first term in the numerator, 2 plus h cubed, and let's go ahead and plug all that in. So we're evaluating a limit as h approaches 0. We have the terms we just expanded, h cubed plus 6h squared plus 12h plus 8. And don't forget you have the minus eight after those terms. And that is all over h. Now we're gonna take this one step at a time so that way you see all the steps. First, you can cancel the eights out there. And what's left, notice you can factor h out from the numerator. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna factor h out. So we'll be left with h squared plus 6h plus 12. That's all over h. And notice here, this is where your indeterminate form cancels. h is approaching zero. So h over h here, as we let h approach zero, h never equals zero. So you can cancel those out. And we have a very simple limit. 
we're left with the limit as h approaches zero of h squared plus 6h plus 12. And at this point, there is no indeterminate form, so we can just plug in h as zero, and notice that term zero, that's gonna be zero, and you'll just be left with 12. And that is your limit here, and again, all the work was properly multiplying or expanding two plus h cubed. If you make this mistake, it's like minus a thousand points. So take your time, go through the tedious algebra, and it's pretty simple. Again, we're gonna have another way to do this by factoring linked over to the side. If you enjoyed the video, support the channel, like and subscribe.